Fighter jets. Yeah, what are you guys doing here? Is it Wednesday afternoon? Maybe that's it. Yikes! Oh, I don't like that. What did he do? Afterburners? Oh, my. Did you hear that? Whoa. What's that about? Jeez Louise. I don't like that. Oh, my gosh. I'll go out the front. So they turned on their afterburners? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a story of what I saw. <clears throat> Listen to them. They're still going. On Saturday afternoon, this last Saturday. What day is Saturday? And it was 12, 14 p.m. So it was Saturday afternoon, and it was crystal clear skies. This isn't crystal clear. Anyway, I watched something in the sky here, and it was really high up, and it's usually the pattern that the uh, commercial airlines take to get up to Seattle. The ones going to Portland are, are much lower, so I'd watch one jet go towards Seattle. It was high up, and it had the, you could barely hear the sound. It was really quiet, unlike today. And that helicopter, I wonder if there's something going down on the river. Anyway, let me continue. So I was sitting right here, and I was where I like to sit. I'll show you how I was sitting right here. And I always, you know, I like to watch the birds. And then it, we get the plane traffic going this way to uh, up to Portland. And then the usual traffic going this way is higher up, and that's going to Seattle. So I see this plane coming, and it had jet trails, and you can see the wings and everything. And that was going to Portland. And then but. Five minutes, ten minutes later, there was a high-flying one going to Seattle. I could barely hear it, but you could see the wings and see the jet trail. Then I saw something really odd coming in the same pattern as the Portland airport, but it was higher up, and I thought, huh, that's an unusual pattern. Look at those buzzards, <laughs> hawks. So, and yeah, that's why I like to look at the skies. I see the hawks and the, we have bald eagles that fly here. So I'm looking, I thought, well, that's a strange pattern for that plane. Uh, cause it's, doesn't, not making any noise. I didn't hear any noise. I thought it's long tubular, like a, and it was silver, all silver. I thought, huh, that's kind of strange. I thought, and it got closer and closer, and I'm looking. I did not have my phone with me. I cannot believe it. The once-in-a-lifetime shot. And it get, kept coming this way. And I don't know if it was because of the distance or what, but it seemed to stop for a little bit. I thought, that's not possible. And there was no jet trail. No sound and no wings. And I thought, oh, that's a strange weather balloon. But then I thought, how can a weather balloon be shaped like an airplane as big as a jumbo jet with no wings? And I'm sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, that's weird. And I thought, what in the world would that be? And I'm looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, and trying to figure out what it is. Look how hazy it is. That's because we've got a temperature inversion. What is it, 95 degrees today? Anyway, <clears throat> we live over the edge of Boring, Oregon. And uh, we're about 35 miles from uh, the airport or downtown. And uh, what, 
25 miles from the airport and 33 air miles from Mount Hood. And Mount Hood's been rumbling quite a bit. Anyway, so I'm looking and looking and, and so I go in and get my phone, but I'm trying to look up and I thought, this is just freaky. No wings, no jet trail, and no sound. And it seemed like it was going faster. And I thought, not, no, no UFOs. You know, I'm not thinking UFO, but I'm thinking a weather balloon. But how can a weather balloon do that? And I thought, well, maybe the winds carry it. And I'm thinking. And then my husband is uh, ex-Navy submarine. And he knows that I'm not cuckoo. And I'll swear on a stack of Bibles that what I'm saying is the honest to God's truth. Well, I don't, I don't want to swear on a stack of Bibles, but I'll take a polygraph. What I saw is true. What I saw and what I'm reporting is the honest to God's truth. Oh, there's a heron. Anyway, I asked my husband, I says, Larry, what do you think it is? And your answer is? It sounds like, like a cruise missile. Cruise missile. Can you believe that? Why would a cruise missile be flying overhead in that weird pattern? High up above, like where the jets going to Seattle travel. And a few minutes later, after that cruise missile went by, there was a plane, another plane going into Seattle. So I could judge the distance and the speed and the size. But it was all silver. But I was trying to get a, a picture of it, and I kind of tripped, and then I couldn't get my phone, turn my phone on, the camera on. And by the time I got over to look where it had gone overhead, um, I couldn't couldn't really focus in on it, so I'm just pointing the camera in that direction. Well, it turned, flipped backwards, so I was pointing to the ground, but that was just weird. So that was August, or July 10 at 1214 Pacific Standard Time. I didn't know we had, we would have cruise missiles. Why would, why would they have cruise missiles here? Who would, who was it? Wouldn't have been an enemy one. He didn't want to say. Because no. he's ex-submarine. This is what I saw. It was big as an airline. But I couldn't see any wings on it. I didn't see any wings. I couldn't see what was on the back of it. And it was all silver or white. cruise missile. I can't get any answers from anybody, and I doubt we can. I'm wondering if the radar picked it up. But it was 1214 on July 10, 1214, Saturday afternoon. Might, I might have the time a few minutes too fast. It might have been 1210. But I called the news media channel too. And they're thinking, yeah, right, lady, uh-huh. But I tell you what, I'm going to put my right hand on the Bible. This is the Bible. It has my name on the front, so that's why I don't want it. But as God is my witness, I am telling the honest to God's truth of what I saw. I believe was a cruise missile passing over the eastern part of uh, Portland area. Saturday, August 10 at 12.14 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is the submarine my husband served upon, the Henry, USS Henry L. Stimson. How many nuclear... Uh, Things did you have on missiles? Did you have on there? 
missiles. Sixteen. Sixteen missiles, and they were back here. Yeah. And those were nuclear. Oh yeah, there were atomic bombs. Each missile had three independently uh, trainable nuclear bombs. Wow! Wow! Each missile had three of them. And here's your submarine. Now, what is this? Our friend did this for you. This is your submarine. No. He, he didn't find a picture. Oh, he didn't find a picture. Okay, this is a another submarine. This is submarine. Okay, but this is my husband's submarine, and uh, I just put my hand on the Bible, attesting that what I said was true. People are going to think. I'm nuts, but I, <laughs> I'm not taking any drugs or psych meds or anything. So that was strange, huh? What do you think of that? Cruise no. missile? Probably a cruise missile. Probably. Probably. I called the news, and we'll never be able to find out what that was because the Navy's not, or the they're not going to tell us the truth. But I wonder if they caught it on radar. They won't reveal it. They won't reveal it. Anyway. We're not your everyday crazies. My husband stood on that too. That's his submarine. It was in Holy Lock, Scotland. I met him when I was 17. I don't think what I saw was a UFO. It had to be a cruise missile. No wings. No jet trail, no sound. And it was long like a an aircraft carrier. Same, only it was skinnier. Uh, I don't know. I wish I could have some answers, but I think there's some stuff going on. I really do. Thank you for stopping by. Sub to my channel. If I find out any more information, I will let you know. I don't know who to contact. Maybe somebody here knows how to contact. Uh, radar people or... I don't know. Who, how would we find out? And if they know, are they going to tell us the truth? Or are they going to tell us something different like oh the lady's crazy anyway thank you for watching sub to my channel i'll let you know if there's any updates